All right, Ryan, what's going on here? Considering buying it all out. Buying this entire thing? This entire table? 12 showcases, and these are all packed with cards. Yeah, like every single card in the showcase is a decent card that we can use in our shop. And they look like good price ranges. <laughs> okay, this is, this, is, uh, this is a lot. So as we were over here buying at our table, I just got a text from Ryan from my Cars HQ team saying he wants to buy out an entire dealer table. Now, we only brought $70,000 of cash with us to this show. I think this transaction would take a lot of that cash. This is Carter. You guys know Carter from my Cards HQ team. What What is this all about? Yeah, I mean, it's tons of showcases, probably six to eight showcases of baseball, football, basketball cards. And we're going to buy the entire thing? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're trying to do right now. Okay. To bring kind of like nice kind of showcase attention grabbing inventory. It's a lot of Hall of Fame stuff, game used patches, yeah. like not the player more stuff or the real actual game used. Kind of surgical. Things that are going to be exciting and I price this stuff to move. And why are you thinking about potentially selling all of it in one big ball? I've spent the last couple of years kind of building up inventory. Gotcha. I have four booths at the National. We buy a lot. Gotcha. Um, and so at this point you have, you caught me with like a bunch of inventory. Yeah. And you know my I'd rather go coach travel baseball right now. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, that's fair enough. All right, so what do you think about this? I'm a little hesitant. There's some cards I see that are priced maybe 30 or 40 percent over comp. I try to price these things at close enough to the comp numbers that people are gonna come by and they're not gonna nickel and dime me on the extra five dollars. There's a lot of game worn patches of players like Hall of Fame guys that you can't find from every dealer. That so. does have a lot of eye appeal. That being said, I know that you need to make money on this and we get the big shop coming up. That is stuff that's going to look really good in the showcases. And if we go sell it online on whatnot, it's going to look, those, those things do good prices. You don't have to change the stickers. You can put the stuff in your shop and know that your margin is, if you buy something for 70, you can sell it for 100. You just made yourself almost 45%. Curious to see what, if Ryan can negotiate a little bit further here in a minute okay. based on some of those cards and if he looks a couple up. Let me double check your comps on a few cards. Um, okay. Look at what you actually got. Uh, talk with my uh, partners and see if we can make a deal happen. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Ryan. All right, so Dan has put it into stacks of 1000 as close as he can get it. Okay, so like each of these stacks is $1,000. Now that's based on his sticker price, mm -hmm. not what we're buying it at. Correct. So basically we're just checking that he did it right. If it's off $5 um, one way, we have to make sure it's off $5 the other way the next time. Right. Uh, make sure we're getting stacks of 1000 Then we're putting in a sticky note for each stack of 1000 Okay. And then once we get them all in the box, we'll know how many how many stacks of a thousand we have? Okay, so this stack here, it's a nice booklet there. Woo, look at that one. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Okay, so that stack is $995. So it's $5 short. The next one should be $5 the other way. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. And we'll do this all day long. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do this all day long. Now, are you kind of looking at the comps of any of these? You know, Carter, Carter was a little concerned that maybe there's some cards in here that you know were comps uh, pretty high, right? And so then, if you, are you, are you kind of looking at them just to make sure you're not running into any that were like just Correct. off on the sticker price? Yeah, he was able to work with me on a few cards already. Okay, um, getting them back down to earth. Okay, um, so if I notice any as I go that I'm like that feels really high for that card on the sticker, I should pull it out. Yeah. Okay. Correct. We got to make our margin on this. I think the strategy with these cards is we go into it, we put them in the shop. If they don't sell. Um, over you know first couple of months of opening, we can yeah. put these on whatnot too. A lot of these have unique patches, um, on card autos. This guy was really particular with what he was buying. Okay. So if you want your shot at buying cards like these, and if you can't get to a card show or our card shop, then the next best thing is to go on to whatnot because 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there's a ton of different sellers selling singles like this as well as doing breaking on whatnot, including Cards HQ because once we open, we're gonna be on whatnot a lot. If you don't have the whatnot, not app, scan that QR code on your screen right now. We're going to hook you up with $10 in free credit in your account or click the link in the show description below. We'll give you $10 either way. Make sure to do it and we'll see you on whatnot. I'm going to double check the price on these though just to make sure that you know the stickers are relatively accurate on these since these are some more expensive cards. So I'm going to okay. do that over here. Oh wow, this is low number. Don't even see that one ever selling in a 9 but in a PSA 10. It did 1550, so I feel comfortable with the nine being 350 on that. That seems like a very fair price on that, so I'm good on that one. Yeah, this one has this one hasn't sold in months and months and months, but the last time it sold, it actually sold for quite a bit over that sticker. So let me see. This is sold more recently, like in a PSA nine. Yeah, yeah you see the last nine just did twenty six dollars, yeah. right? So you can see, and they they used to be doing a hundred bucks in a nine. 
um, but then they, you know, they kind of fell backwards. So that one might be stickered a little high, but I don't know. What do you think on that one? Yeah, maybe we, maybe we try to get them to sticker at 100. Sticker that one at 100. That would that would be, I think, probably a little more. A couple things I might have priced really high either because I really like it, right? Or think this is the price in two months, or because I screwed up and it, haven't adjusted. It. Right. So it's worth this just one. Saying, like, like this card, for example, looks like that was probably the right sticker at the beginning of the baseball season, and now it looks like it's down a lot. I, I, I'm guessing he didn't do anything this season or whatever because the raws right now are selling for about 25 bucks okay perfect we're good okay awesome so that's what we wanted to do so he um he just restickered this one at 100 bucks so i feel like that uh gets us more in line with where we want to be so that's great that dan's willing to work with us in that regard and okay all right so i'll keep going here and see if i see anything else like that 100 300 380 410 635 860 Perfect. Check this out. It's a uh, part of uh, Cunha's fleet. So something like this is going to do really well in our store. I mean, obviously we're right down the street from the Braves Stadium. And anytime we can find Braves at a show like this, we want to get our hands on it. Absolutely. Yeah. 25, 650. Yeah, that one's exactly a thousand. Do we have a sense of how much this is all going to add up to? He did not know. So we're going to figure it out as we go. We're going to figure it out as we go. Okay. I like these Jeter autographs. Yeah. The jersey graphs. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah that's jersey. really cool. Yeah, that's, you know, the nice thing about this type of card is that it's it's unlikely to lose value, you know, that much with the market, right? Like a player like Jeter, his market's pretty established. Obviously, some of the guys who are currently playing and we're buying, you know, quarterbacks, young quarterbacks who are in the league right now, the one concern we do have is like, what are we paying for them today versus what are they going to be worth in late January when the shop opens? Right. Okay, guys, so this is crazy. Dan and I were just talking here as we were working this deal out, and I found out that, Dan, you to play guitar at the Grog House, which is a very popular bar in Gainesville back in the late 1990s. I used to go to the Grog House every Friday night with my buddies to watch him play guitar like 25 years ago. Dude, that's that's awesome. so funny. Small, Small world, world, man. That's, that's awesome. Great. Okay, so I think so far so good with this, right? We found a few cards that are are off. He's restickered a few things. Mm -hmm. So you are feeling right now like this can get done or you still you still need a little bit of time to figure this out? Let's, let's keep going and see where we're at. Um, we got quite a few showcases to go. I hope this gets done because we're spending a lot of time here today and away from our own booth. So I yeah. hope we can get this done. 200, 350. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's a one-on-one -on -one card. Sweet. 480, 6, 730, 790, I'm losing my mind with all this math here. I'm having to triple check all the numbers in my head. I know you need that in Atlanta. Yeah, we need that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need that one in Atlanta. Look at this card. Game-worn Hank Aaron jersey. Wow, it's a patch. Yeah, it is. It's a game-worn patch from Hank Aaron. That's gorgeous. That's really cool. Like That's that going to do well in the shop. All right, we have officially filled up our first box. That represents $17,000 worth of cards right there. And we still got a long way to go. Let's keep working. Let's keep working. Okay, this one I think is probably going to be a problem. That's quite a bit old. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> a, tr a Trey Lance card stickered at $400. I have no doubt that at one point this card was worth $400. I also have no doubt that today this card is not worth $400. So this is this is the type of thing we really got to watch out for to make sure we can you know end this deal with a proper margin. Believe it or not, I'm going to take you through a little time tunnel here. Okay. When I first got this card, it was actually $1,500. Oh, Fifteen, my. oh my gosh. So this is a oh, there's a sticker on the back for $1,500. <laughs> it's a Contenders Trey Lance Rookie On Card Auto number to 21. Yeah, at one point that was a super hot card. Really hot card. And I've adjusted it down and adjusted it down and adjusted it down. I think if you ran it at auction today, it still gets like $250 maybe. Think so? Let's That's adjust true. this one down. Okay, thank you. Okay, so he just repriced it to 250. You feel better about that? Let's check it on market movers. Okay. All right, so that's a draft class contenders Trey Lance. And that's the auto version of it. Is that it? That's it. Out of 21. Yeah, so I mean even <laughs> sheesh. 94 bucks. Just just recently at auction. So I mean even 250 on that one's like. Yeah, let's go back to Dan on this one again. Okay. Dan, sorry to be a pain in the butt on this one. But this one did at auction in a PSA 9 recently did 94 bucks. 
believe it or not. You want to just hold on to that one for sentimental value? <laughs> one fifty. I just took the fifteen hundred dollars sticker and I just moved the decimal place over one. Okay. I guess, give me give me another hundred dollar card then, and we'll finish this pile out. <laughs> We're adding value with Mac Jones. There. That used to be stickered at like five hundred. Right. Right. <laughs> That's been adjusted. Okay. So with that, we have now officially completed this box. Thirty thousands. $31,000 in one box. This box is $31,000 worth of cards. Okay, so you add that to our box over here, it's $17,000. So we're already up to $48,000 sticker price on these cards. All right, so we just filled up the third box. This is getting crazy. Let me count this one here. $41,000 in this box. Starting at And we still have two showcases to go. Like this. this is like this is like you get the thrill of the chase here. This is like high stakes thrill of the chase. And you know what? Hopefully we're gonna make money on this whole thing. So it's like a thrill with a uh, positive outcome for us. I, hopefully that works out. All right, Jeff, what's going on? What are we doing? Uh, well, <laughs> it's, it's a little insane. I'm walking back to the Cards HQ booth because I need to, I need to first of all make sure Carter is 100% on board with this deal because this is an insane deal that we're about to do. But second of all, I also need to make sure we have enough cash to pull this whole thing off because we, we brought a lot of cash, but man, that's gonna take a ton of cash to get this done. So I'm gonna go see, uh, check on both of those things right now. Ryan wants to finish that deal off. It's, it's massive. <laughs> Like, I, they're finishing adding everything up, but like we're approaching $100,000 of sticker, sticker price. You, you feel good about doing this? I, mean, I, I trust Ryan, so if Ryan thinks it's good and you guys think it's good, let's do it. Okay, you got the cash? I got some, you can take some of this. Can I take all of this? Yeah. Good God, okay, all right. <laughs> it's, about, it's about to get real. Okay, I got the cash. Are you guys still adding up or are you done? We're done, the sticker price came out to 104500 Oh jeez, so we, we are in fact into six figures in terms of sticker price. That's six figures worth of cards here. Oh my gosh. All right, now obviously we're not we're not paying 104,500, but that's what the cards are stickered at. Correct. What about this wax? What's going on with this? Yeah, we're gonna it, add this under the deal. Um, we'll so the, is this included in the 104,500? It is not. It's not? It's not. So we're buying this too? I think we need it. I think we need it, Jeff. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we just counted out the cash. We got the cash to do this, but I wanna make sure that this is the right decision before we get this deal done. This box is full of a lot of higher end cards, right? When we were sorting through, I mean, you got a lot of cards in here, like, you know, cards are like 700 bucks and 600 bucks for that booklet card and that kind of thing. Are we sure we wanna buy over $100,000 worth of cards, including all these high end ones? The other option, is that we could exclude some of the high-end cards from the deal, take out the ones that are over like 500 bucks, and get this down to a little bit of a lower cash number. Does that does that make sense? What, what do you what do you want to do? I think we should go all in. I think we should get all of it. I think it'll be great for the showcases. There's, I mean, the high-end and low-end mixture. Um, I think it'll be great for the shop. Okay. All right, man. It's a big purchase. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right, so Dan. everything in here is sticker priced at like a pretty attractive number, mm -hmm. like. Maybe a little above comps, but not too far above comps. You know, if we do like 70% of the sticker price, that gives you some room to make some money. Let me talk with my uh, partners and see if we can make a deal happen. I don't know that buying it all at 70% is going to give us quite the margin that we need, but what, are, what do you think right now? I think to get where we need to be, I think we offer them 60%. Okay. And then we'll be into the cards with a decent amount of margin, probably close to 30%. Now, if, he, if you offer him 60 any counters, are you going to be negotiable or do you want to go in just with hard 60? I think I'm going to go in with a hard 60. Okay. I think that's where I want to be. All right, Dan. Yeah. I have a counter offer for you. Okay. We, want to, we want to take every single card that's under $1,000. Okay. And we want to do 60% of your sticker. 60% of my sticker. Correct. It squeezes me, but there's a lot of benefit to moving it all at once instead of having to list it all myself. Um, we do pay a cold, hard cash. 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 I like cash. <laughs> It'll make my suitcase lighter. Sure will. All right, let's do it. Awesome. It's a deal. 
Thank you. That was great. Thanks a lot. Really enjoyed working with you guys. Dan, that was awesome, man. Thank you. Visiting it. Thank you. Thanks, we, are, we are looking forward to having you visit. Wow. All right. This was incredible. What, what a deal. What a deal, guys. This is absolutely insane. We got it done here on the show floor, the Philly show. All of these cards are going to be in Cards HQ in Atlanta. You have to come check it out. We're opening in late January, January 26th as part of the Culture Collision Show. Come see Cards HQ. And in the meantime, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.